Good evening, I'm Heather Skold. And I'm Mark Bensoul. Tonight, the top shareholder of Evraz, the company that owns the steel mill in Pueblo, is facing several different sanctions from international bodies. Roman Abramovich is accused of using his influence within the steel and coal company to aid the Russian military in Ukraine. But the company's leadership here in America tells 13 investigates they have zero ties with the Kremlin. Investigative reporter Dan Beatty joins us live outside Evraz Rocky Mountain Steel in Pueblo with more on the growing controversy. Dan. Tonight, a spokesperson with Evraz North America tells 13 Investigates their company operates independently from their European parent company in several ways. But most importantly, the products that are made here at the steel plant in Pueblo have nothing to do with Russia or Ukraine. Financing is here in North America. Annie Stefanik, the director of communications with Everest North America, spoke with 13 Investigates about how their company, headquartered in Chicago, is financially separate from the parent company, Everest, headquartered in London. And we operate independently throughout all channels, including operations, procurement of raw materials, and our uh, supply chain. Our financing is North American, our people are North American. We're a North American company. Back in March, following the invasion into Ukraine, the United Kingdom froze the assets for Roman Abramovich, a Russian billionaire and the top shareholder for Evraz. The UK accused Abramovich of supplying steel to the Russian military for their tanks. We do not, and we have not, and we will not supply steel to the Russian military. Evraz North America says the steel products manufactured in Pueblo deal with construction, energy, and railroad tracks, not military. As a shareholder, Abramovich has a financial interest in the success of the Rocky Mountain Steel Mill in Pueblo, but Stefanik says it doesn't go further than that. Mr. Abramovich is, again, a shareholder of a company that is publicly traded in London. He has no influence over the business decisions we make day to day. Everest stock was suspended from the London Stock Exchange after Russia invaded into Ukraine. Abramovich has been sanctioned by the United Kingdom, the European Union, and Canada, but not the United States. Reporting live in Pueblo, Dan Beatty, 13 Investigates.